my child is a sociopath, and we don't talk anymore. She started out like any child, as far as I can tell. I have four children and spent the better part of my life teaching in some capacity, there was never anything that screamed out to me that there was an issue, little things along the way now feel so much bigger, but nothing was shocking or concerning. When she entered middle school, she began changing quickly, around this time, I got divorced, and I thought she just needed some time to adjust, we were in family and individual therapy, and nobody seemed concerned, her behavior and demeanor spiraled out of control, and about a year ago, began spiraling even quicker. Her therapist called me at work last fall and said she could not work with my child anymore, that something horrific had come out in therapy, and she was out of her element, she said that my child needed inpatient care, we had done this many, many times, and more intensive therapy, we took her inpatient, and then by some miracle, scraped together an ungodly sum of money and got her enrolled in a highly intensive therapy program, we put cameras all throughout the house and locks on our smaller children's doors and set booby traps in the hall so we could hear if she was coming to anyone's room, we weren't sleeping a wink, we even called CPS on ourselves, hoping to get some help to protect the smaller children, I called my ex-husband and asked him to take custody, he wouldn't, I never thought I would get to that point, we enrolled in intensive family therapy, but my husband, our adult son, and I were the only ones who did our homework, not my daughter. The PA that prescribed her medications was the lone, unconcerned person who screamed at my husband and me for an hour one day when we shared our concerns that current treatments weren't working, she said that we misunderstood our child and that she wasn't dangerous, and that she needed more attention, I didn't know how to give her more attention, we are such a close-knit family, she and I had activities we did together, and we did family game nights and movie nights and ate family dinner every evening together, she was the one who would behave so badly that family dinners became silent to avoid her screaming or abusing people, she was the one who would refuse to vote for a movie and then scream at us when we decided on one, then refuse to watch, we'd had so many heart-to-heart -heart conversations that ended in cruelty and abuse on her part, nothing we did worked. There was no more attention we could give her, she didn't want positive attention, her boyfriend came to us and told us that she wanted a bad home life and that if she couldn't have it, she'd make it, he was angry and concerned because he truly did have a bad home life, of course, I was. Plagued with self-doubt the whole time, concerned I was overreacting, and this made me feel even worse, even though everyone else around me seemed to understand the gravity of the situation, I was naive. She marched into our room in February and made a bombshell announcement that sealed everyone's fate, no number of cameras or therapies or sleepless nights listening for noises could protect our smaller children, there were threats towards the adults, but those were not the main concern, the things my child spewed that day will forever be burned on my brain, I don't think I was aware enough to realize this was the last time my baby would be home but we packed up some things and took her to the ER on the suggestion of her doctor, she hasn't been home since, I stopped eating, I was throwing up daily, I still couldn't sleep, they sent her to a residential treatment center, and they emailed us some pamphlets and studies about the kind of future kids like her have, it was grim, they are victims of abuse, they are taken advantage of, they can't hold jobs, but worst of all, they are constantly victimizing others, they said she is just shy of the legal age she can be diagnosed with ASPD, but that it is surely coming, and I see it, I see it now. For the first few months, we spoke on the phone a few times a week, and every time we got off the phone, I would want to die, she was refusing meds and was violently attacking her peers in the facility, she would say horrible things to me, after phone calls, I would throw up and cry until I threw up some more, and my relationships at home began to suffer, I was pushing everyone away, finally, my therapist, husband, and adult son intervened and said that they thought the phone calls should stop because they were abusive, I didn't see it that way, but two of them had heard the calls, they pointed out that our smaller children would act out and have nightmares on phone call days, and that I would walk around crying and zoned out for days after the calls, my therapist said, you have to sacrifice one to save the rest, that's just the way it is. I'm so full of grief, shame and anger, it eats at me constantly, I know that she is a cruel person, but she was so good at pretending to be normal and kind to get what she wanted, that all I can see now are those times, those smiles, I think about my baby all alone in a facility, not having any family to talk to, then I think about my other children and how their lives could easily be ruined and taken down a similar or worse path if I let her anywhere near them, I think about the horrible, disgusting things I found in her room, I will never get those out of my head, the things she stole from us that were creepy or just plain mean, things she couldn't or wouldn't use but that meant something to others, the more, I find out over time, the more horrified I am that this is my child, I am grieving like she is dead, but she isn't, and there are no casserole trains or days off of work or hallmark cards for something like this, the second she turns 18, I am so afraid she will end up on the streets, and I don't know if I am more concerned about what will happen to her or what will happen to the people around her, the things she likes and wants to do are unfathomable to me, I am broken. Everyone who knows, my therapist and two friends, tells me I have done the right thing, my smaller children don't have nightmares anymore, and our home is happy and peaceful, and once I stopped taking phone calls, my health got a little better, but I think I will always have a huge hole in my heart, and I don't think the fear and grieving will ever end. I don't really feel like I can talk to anyone about it because they all were able to be cut and dry about it, I don't know why I can't, I know everyone wants me to snap out of it, but it's just not happening, 
It's all been weighing on me so heavily. I had to get it out.